eight NFL team owners donated to Trump, either the inauguration committee or the victory party Millions. or something. Yes. Millions. Do they stop doing this now? He's attacking their industry and their most prized possessions. Well, I think that it's very likely that they will not get millions anytime soon because the NFL and their teams are businesses and their first concern is not taking care of their relationship with the president but protecting their business. So, uh, yes, there, there's going to be a diminished uh, response uh, between the NFL and the team owners and president. What do they do? Do they take a stand? Do they stand with their players? Some players feel differently to other players. Some of the owners have ambassadorships. Well, all, all true. But consider that the business is a business. Advertisers and fans support the business. Huge, huge fans showed out, bigger, the biggest of the season at all of the games, to see what was going to happen after the president's uh, twits, tweets had, had incited uh, both sides. But advertisers are remaining very quiet. You don't hear anybody pulling their ads out of the NFL because it's a business and they have the audience. President Trump said in his initial tweet in Alabama, NFL ratings way, way down. They're not way down. Last year, the NFL set a, a viewership record, and they're on track to do that here. They had two bad weekends between H Harvey and Irma, the Hurricanes, that knocked out games and distracted everybody and was 24-7 all hurricane news. But yesterday was a record viewership, and you're going to see the NFL bring the advertisers right in and the fans as well. So Supporter ratings don't get hit. I mean, Trump's hoping that fans walk out of stadiums, they stop watching the NFL. You don't think that's going to happen? Uh, it's, it, it's not going to happen. Uh, the, the game is the game, and people uh, are, are going to separate sports and politics, despite the fact that politics has already, always, for the last half century, been integrated inside sports.